All righty. Welcome to Saving History. Me and Russ are back out here in the woods. Show you. There's Russ digging a target right there. We're out here with the T2s trying to get into something here. And I got a good target in the hole. I see round. Uh, I think it's uh, going to be a big old flat button, but we'll go down here together and take a look at it and see what we got. Got some good sunlight highlighting it there. See it right there in the middle of the screen. So we'll excavate that out. See if we got anything. It's got, it's got a design around the uh, edge. Can't tell if it's got anything else on it. But there we go. Okay, so Russ just dug a flat button just on the other side of the camera right here. And I uh, thought I had a musket ball, so I wasn't too excited. But when I started to flip it over, I realized that I had a little ball button right here. So other than kind of pushing it around a little bit, hadn't done anything with it. He's got the shank on the back. Don't think it's got anything on it. But there we go. Okay, just dug that ball button right here. Got another good target right here. It looks like I got another button in the hole. Right there in the middle. I just saw it roll back down in the dirt when I flipped my plug. Looks like I got a shank on it for sure. Oh, coat. coat size doesn't appear it's got anything on the front but that's all right good heavy colonial flat button t2 with the five inch coil picking it out of the iron we have dug very few coins at this site um, until Greg dug the two real, I've dug, uh, it was like two Indian head pennies and that's it. And we knew there had to be been some. So this could be a button. I hadn't seen it, but this is an area we have hit, hit, hit. And it goes to show you guys, go back to your sites because ground conditions, moisture, everything will push coins and buttons and the relics around. So yeah, Absolutely. Well, let's, um, let's go see what this we'll is. And see what we got. So it's heavy. That's a large scent. That's a large scent. Yeah, I can see the yep, picture. Head on it. Yeah, right there. First LC we've dug out of here. Alright. So we get a date off of it, we'll let you we'll know. Let you know. Alright. Looks like it's a flat button kind of day here, but I'll take that all day long. Right there. Shank on the back. I think it's a flat button. Pretty sure. Yes. Shank there on the back. Looks pretty smooth on the front. Hey, take them all day long. Well, we come to the end of another day. We actually had a good day today out here in the woods. I uh, wanted to do a real quick cleanup just to show you what all we got. Um, got uh, Russ got a nice piece of a padlock and. Another lock piece there, a little buckle. Get down into his brass. He's got a nice button and kind of a crushed thimble, but it's cool. Piece of another brass buckle there. He's a coin daddy today. He got him a, what was the date on the Indian head? 1880 something. And then of course there's a large scent and we hope that we'll get some, uh, He's gonna have some, pretty good some detail off of that later. Try to see with the light, but yeah, then, uh, I got that thing, whatever that is, and where Russ was the coin daddy, I was the button daddy. So I got into a few of those and a uh, nice little musket ball there on the end. So, yeah, overall, we had a, uh, a really good day, and uh, we appreciate you coming out with us. Yep. I do want to give a shout-out to our buddies at uh, Treasure Mountain Detectors. They uh, can pretty much fulfill any metal detecting need you have, so I've put a link to their website in the description below. For Saving History, I'm SC Digger. I'm Palmetto. See ya.